Am I the only one who thinks that King Batch was genuinely funny back in 2015? Now I know that there's like a huge King Batch hate train going on right now saying that King Batch was never funny, King Batch was corny, King Batch set black people back all the way to slavery, but what if I told you that that's not even the real reason why people hate King Batch? What if I told you that there's a greater reasoning to why people dislike that man so much? And by the end of this video, you're gonna find that reason. Now first and foremost, where did all this hate for King Batch even come from? I mean, I feel like every single year there's a King Batch vine that goes viral on Twitter and all the comments are in uproar saying that King Batch set black people all the way back to segregation like <laughs> It's actually wild. A few weeks ago, there was like this whole situation in Montgomery, Alabama, where there was like this huge fight at a boating dock. And after the whole situation, like everyone started making memes about it. I mean, a dude swam across the lake just to fight. Somebody got hit with a chair. Some dude threw his hat up in the air and like a bunch of people helped him to come fight. Like it was a pretty crazy situation. And since everyone decided to make memes, the meme god himself, King Batch, decided to also hop on the trend. And that's when it all went downhill. King Batch decided to make this skit of like him throwing his hat up in the air and like a bunch of black people coming to help him when he had a problem because that's kind of what happened in the video in the whole montgomery brawl situation and all the comments were like yo you are garbage you're a terrible human being you're annoying you're corny go kill i'm not gonna finish that sentence <laughs> i'm not but it made me think to myself like dang like when did every single human being hate this man king batch like back in 2015 i used to love that man like even though now like yeah the jokes are, are they're not that funny but dog king batch was my guy back in 2015. I mean, another situation where I can pinpoint that man King Batch getting hated on is back in 2020, which this situation I thought, oh my gosh, King Batch is a whole idiot for doing this. That man like painted all over himself, like rest in peace, George Floyd. He put like the BLM logo on him, like with marker and stuff. And like he put his fist up and made a TikTok about it. It, it was pretty cringe. And everyone was saying like, yo, how are you going to say this when you were making freaking racist jokes back in 2015? Now I'm not going to lie. King Batch's vines, when you watch them there's a lot of there's a lot of raccoon behavior raccoon without the ra but i feel like a lot of people are forgetting what was in the media back in like 2015 back in 2015 racist jokes and vine went hand in hand literally all the most popular vines are probably just some racist joke about black people versus white people or freaking like some asian joke or some like hispanic joke i mean a lot of the jokes on vine weren't clever at all a lot of them were just dark humor which not even dark humor it was just like a stereotype now let me say this right now there's a difference between dark humor and just being blatantly racist like if somebody just says yo knock knock who's there you're an n-word with the hard r like i'm gonna be like okay that's kind of racist but dark humor on the other hand i mean i feel like if you can make a joke about an asian person and then the asian person laughs i feel like that's dark humor you know you make a joke about a black person and the black person is laughing i feel like that, that that's good dark humor and i feel like that's a lot of what vine was like nobody really cared back then they just cared about oh i'm gonna just say this joke and people are gonna laugh like you never saw anybody drop a think piece on vine back then when somebody dropped one and i'm not saying this is right in any way i'm not saying go up to your black friend and just call him like a monkey or something but the majority of people on vine just enjoyed stereotypical jokes and i think that was just the internet itself like you guys remember anwar jabawi he was like that arabic dude he would always make stereotypical arabic jokes then you got people like josh kwandike who was also making stereotypical asian jokes then you got the white people on vine making all these stereotypical white people jokes and then you got the black viners like jerry perp drink daystorm power king batch all making jokes about black stereotypes like literally when you think about vine back then like a lot of the black viners they would just bank on jordans watermelon and basketball <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> that's low-key wild when you think about it but like i said like where did these jokes come from the media people were watching south park family guy freaking boondocks a lot of this stuff was okay back then like back then dark humor was the key to make somebody laugh but I think back in like 2018, 2019, and 2020, that's when there was like a whole like 180 turn on dark humor. Like everyone was like, oh my gosh, stereotypical jokes aren't funny. Racist jokes aren't funny. Like, I'm not gonna lie, me, myself, like I don't mind a racist joke here and there. Like if you're just being blatantly racist, like I feel like that's different than like dark humor. But if you say a funny joke and it's like well-crafted and I'm laughing, I'll be like, yo, what the heck? I was not expecting that. And it's a stereotypical joke. I'm gonna be like, okay, like I'm gonna give you your props. I'm gonna laugh. But yeah, 
dark humor was wrong at one point and i feel like that's when people started like bashing on king batch saying that like king batch was never funny but if you look back at all those vines everyone was doing stereotypical jokes and just the internet itself if you look at videos from back in 2015 everyone was saying some racist stuff some crazy stuff call of duty lobbies it was acceptable to say freaking slurs and stuff like that and like i said i'm not saying that any of this stuff was okay but it was just the point in time that like people were living like nobody was really getting offended by that stuff you know and i feel like now dark humor is doing like a whole 360 because bro have you seen ig reels comments i know a lot of people don't really scroll through instagram reels they usually scroll through like tiktok or something but i've been scrolling through ig reels a lot lately and one thing i've been seeing are a lot of kids on my like instagram reels page you know how on tiktok back then like you would just see like a random kid doing something on tiktok and like a lot of people would just like it because they're like yo what is going on like this kind of funny well that's happening all over again with instagram reels and you go to the comment section and the top comment will say something like shut up little nigga and i'm not saying that that's okay at all but when you see something like that you're like okay what is going on if you use this sound you will get a lot of likes but creepy comments i heard if you use you would think that like the comments would be wholesome because it's a little kid just dancing doing whatever telling a joke but the top comment will tell a little kid shut up little nigga like bro i'll be like what the heck like it's kind of funny and with all that being said i think the real reason why people hate king batch so much is because there was no evolution with his content ever since 2015. i mean the only difference from his vines back then and his skits now are just the freaking quality like his vines probably had terrible quality because it was filmed off a of freaking iphone 5c and now it's getting filmed off a of freaking so x7 6000 freaking nuclear galactic camera but there's no difference within like the jokes like the punchlines are all the same so in conclusion king batch is literally just funny to 2015 standards not 2023 standards if that makes any sense i mean i feel like people are just bored of his jokes and that's pretty much it i mean a lot of his jokes literally just consist of when the watermelon chicken is in your veins like <laughs> <laughs> like bro what the heck and also i feel like king batch didn't set black people back like i feel like since everybody was making racist jokes back then i don't really think it set anyone back i think it was like okay now that we look at it from like 2023 standards it's like okay that wasn't okay like that that was wild but to 2015 standards that was okay in the media so yeah that's like my whole opinion on king batch like i don't hate the man because i don't really know the man or anything but i understand like the hate around his content you know and tell me what you guys think about my take like down below because i feel like a lot of people will agree and some people will disagree and if you agree comment below if you disagree also comment below and tell me why so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video it'll be somewhere here on the screen click on it i don't know where but yeah with all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you thank you guys for watching it's cameron and i'm out shut up little nigga